Yo, yo. Good afternoon, St. Francis. We have some breaking news for you. Superintendent Ed Saxton has been put on paid administrative leave during an investigation by the school board regarding allegations brought forth by David Lindbergh, the District Human Resources Director let go by Saxton earlier in the month. Troy Ferguson, current Community Ed Director, is serving as Interim Superintendent while Saxton is on leave. We'll have more on this story as it develops. We hope you've enjoyed your week. It flew by pretty fast, what with Martin Luther King Day and the two-hour delay yesterday. Yeah, speaking of the cold weather, Snow Week is just around the corner. Make sure to vote for this year's Snow Week King and Queen. And as always, show your school spirit by dressing up. Monday is Ugly Sweater Day. Tuesday is Class Color Day. Wednesday is Mismatch or Wilderness Day. Thursday is Throwback Thursday. And Friday, of course, is Spirit Day. Student Council is also sponsoring plenty of events, such as the Snow Week Dance next Friday from 9 to midnight. A snowman building contest will be held February 1st. There is a $5 entry fee, and there can be up to five people on a team. The winning team will receive 20, a $25 caribou gift card. Student Council will also be selling roses for Valentine's Day starting February 3rd. In other news, Wednesday evening was the annual talent show. 17 acts competed for first place and a cash prize. Here's Nick and Garrett with more information. Just got done uh, playing. How do you how do you feel? Drained. It was. It was I feel I'm exhilarated right now. I'm I'm yeah. I'm ready to go play that five more times. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. We could. Uh, how do you feel? You guys did. I think that was that was easily one of our best run throughs of the song. Um, the audience definitely gave me a lot more energy. Uh, uh, just hearing the like, cheers and screams or whatever, it just it it brings you to a whole another level. It brings you to the left. I, I had a ton of fun. I think we nailed it. I, I really do too. Good. All right. Well, uh, thank you for the time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Talent show winner Max Green. What's going on? So, uh, how do you feel about the last night's win? Feeling pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. That's it's good. It's good. good. Uh, were you surprised to find out that you won? I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty surprised. Pretty they, surprised. Didn't know we were gonna win. It's cool. Like maybe third place. How do you think uh, downstairs attic uh, did? We had some technical difficulties, but overall, did pretty good. All right. See you at the pep fest. All right. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Hey guys, we're here with uh, Student Council Rep uh, Maria Zutz. Um, so, how did uh, the talent show go last night? It was really great. I'm really proud of all the acts that performed, and we had a pretty good turnout. All right. Uh, how many acts were there last night? There were ten. Okay. Um, so, the money went to the winner. Um, how much money did you guys bring in and, and whatnot? Uh, the winner got 164, so we, uh, the student council also got 164, so it's made good. a good it's chunk good. of change. That's good. 
Uh, do we see this continuing uh, in the next years? Yeah, I hope so. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you, and have a good day. Thanks, guys. Speaking of talent, St. Francis' own Abby West shot last weekend in two Junior Olympic State Championship matches. Here's more information on this week's Five Minutes of Fame. So you were at a competition last Saturday. Can you tell me about it? So the match on Saturday was a Junior Olympic match, or qualifying for the Junior Olympics. And um, I was the overall match winner for that match. So in April, I will be going to Colorado Springs to shoot at the um, Olympic Training Center to see if I make the developmental team for the Olympics. I've known Abby since eighth grade. She did really well. She, I think she made it in first place. And how dedicated is she to precision shooting? I would say very. There was 30 other girls there, but there was guys there, but the girls do not shoot against the males. So, it's just 30 girls. And how long have you been shooting? For five years. Okay, thank you. What a cool lady! Saturday at Spectacular Events in Isanti is Kessler Susie's benefit. It begins at 4 and all proceeds will go towards Kessler's recovery. There will be a spaghetti dinner, silent auction, and live music that will begin at 8 p.m. That's all we have for you this week, Saints. Stay tuned for weather, random question thing, and sports. Have a great day. Hey Saints, it's JJ and Christy here with your weather. So today we have a chance of snow, a high of 36 and a low of negative 2. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 7 and a low of 7. No change there. And then Sunday we have another chance of snow, a high of 16 and a low of negative 18. So you might want to go sledding or drink some hot chocolate. Either way, have a good weekend, Saints. If you could mix two animals together, what would they be? A cat. A flamingo. A frog and an eagle. A frog. Eagle. Uh, a giraffe and a rabbit. A dolphin and a horse. That would just be interesting. A lion and a fish. A lionfish. A giraffe and a mouse. A lion and a tiger. A giraffe and an elephant. A slock. Yeah. It's a sloth and a hawk. Giraffe and a lion. I would like to cross a horse with a dog. Because you can ride a horse, but a dog is your best friend. Welcome to our sports segment of SFHS Today. Some exciting news this week is that our boys varsity basketball team broke the school record for most points scored in a regular season game and also broke the state record for most three-pointers made in a game. The record so far is 13 wins and 3 losses. Here is our Athlete of the Week, Nate Sveal. I'm here with Nate Sveal talking about Tuesday's basketball game. What was the final score? It was 112 to 65. Have you been putting in extra work to improve your three-pointers? Uh, yes, every day before school. How do you feel after breaking the record? Uh, really good. I'm very proud of myself. Girls basketball has a game tonight at Rogers. Their season overall is at three wins and nine losses, and they are only halfway through their season. Girls hockey lost to North Wright County on Tuesday. They have a game this Saturday against Rogers at home at 3. Boys hockey has a game on Saturday at home against Princeton at 7. Also on Saturday, there's a dance competition at Blaine starting around noon. That's all we have for this week, Saints. See you next week. <laughs>